Hello, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do we have? The King of Crystals, Courage and Commitment. So this is your reading for the eclipse energies, for the what the energy, the wild energy of the eclipse tunnels that we're going in, the portals that we're in. It lasts about a month and it really is like a big energy to be going through. It starts with well, it starts before, but it, we have the full moon in Libra on the 25th, which is a lunar eclipse. And then we have a total solar eclipse, new moon in Aries on the, the 8th of April. And that is going to be a big one as well in a fellow fire sign. So here we have this fierce tiger, king of crystals, courage and commitment. And eclipses are wild cards. They bring things in, they bring things out. There's unexpected energy changes. So resets that come in with it. So king of crystals, courage and commitment. This is the king of pentacles. But I think there's this energy of being fierce and having the courage to commit to something, especially around your financial situation or success, that or something that you've, they're saying that you've got more to give to the world. So let's see what that might be about. Let's pull an affirmation card for you, Sagittarius, and see what is coming through. We've got my income is constantly increasing. Okay, so we're definitely getting pot potential money vibes with this. I begin now today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. So you might be working through a lot of things around money, money beliefs, money blocks, um, making more money. There could be some exciting opportunities coming in for you around this. So let's have a look at what the story is of these eclipses. Because the Libra and Aries energy is actually making very, very positive aspects to you. Look at this. Wow. This is Poseidon, the god of the sea, the ace of pentacles, new opportunity or starting new offerings, new cycles around. Yeah, again, we've got money, 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 money. I think it can be a lot to do with money, but... The Ace of Pentacles is anything in the material realm. So it could be your work, your business, your success. It could be to do with your health. It could be to do with your living situation, your home. But look at this. There's opportunity coming in, uh, potentially around increasing your income in some way, starting with the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, the, I mean, honestly, these are the three best cards for money coming in here. So it might be a welcome relief for some of you, Sagittarius. So let's see what else is coming in with this story. This is just the start of the story with the Ace of Pentacles. So let's see where this is going. The new cycle begins. Oh, the fool, ready to step off. Take a, a leap of faith. Take a... Yeah, take a leap of faith, step into the unknown, activate something new, exciting new opportunity coming your way, and it may require the courage to jump into it quite literally and commit to it and to just do it. So, wow, it feels so exciting. Let's see what is coming through with this as well. We have, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if it can get much better. Look at all these people who are just giving Daedalus pentacles it's like here we go i'm going to give you lots of money so what uh, this is a really fabulous time for that we have it also next to the high priestess these are be open to receive the offerings that are coming your way so or if you are uh, if you have a new offering there are people that are coming and going yes i want that i want that i want that in some way or i'm here to help you these are helpful people people who want to invest in you people who want to support you and it's just like be open to receive like daedalus like <laughs> Okay, great. So we also have the high priestess next to this. This In this deck, she is Persephone, the queen of the underworld. And interestingly, she holds the pomegranate, which is saying that a lot of these seeds have been planted. The, if you've ever opened up a pomegranate, it's just like full of seeds. It's a very fertile symbol. And it's been there in the underworld with this high priestess. She's there, the queen of the underworld. So she is holding this saying, these seeds have been planted in the underworld and you may have even planted them a while ago. You know, how, who knows how long they've been there in the shadows or in that underworld. But now they're coming up and out and they're multiplying. You know, we start with the ace and then we end up with the activate, new activation. Then we end up with the three and trust your intuition with the high priestess. There really is something very 
exciting. And it might have been that you intuitively got the message to start this a long time ago and just haven't got the results. And now suddenly, boom, out of the blue, something comes through. So yeah, it's, it's interesting energy, but it, I feel like these are unexpected, really, really positive results that are coming in. A lot of stuff coming your way, fabulous opportunities. People want to give you stuff. Be open to receive that. So let's see what else is coming through. It's one of the best readings I've ever done for Sagittarius. So let's see what else we have. Ace of Cups, beautiful. This is the birth of Aphrodite, the goddess of love. Look at how big that, that cup is. So it's like, oh, I love this. And then we have the Eight of Swords, which is saying, this is Apollo, the god of healing light, coming in and talking to Arrestus. And Arrestus is like, please help me get out of some of the old negative cycles that I've been in before. I want to break free of that. The belief systems or the sense that things just don't work out, whether this is something with a subconscious core belief, but Arrestus is like, I need help. And Apollo comes in and says, I'm hearing you. What do you need help with? And so there's this sense of opening your heart to help for a start because there's people around that want to help you. And by opening your heart to this new cycle, these new opportunities that are coming your way, you are quite literally making a change. You're saying to yourself and to the universe, I don't want those old restrictions around me anymore. I don't want those limiting beliefs. I want to break free of that. And it's in the doing, in the opening of the heart, in the starting, that you're actually proving to yourself that you can do something or that you can step into this success. It's almost like the, the proof is in the pudding, but you need to start. So it really feels like there's like, I need to open my heart to these new opportunities and I need help. I might need a little bit of help with that along the way. So, and it may be that you need to kind of work in and work with some higher 5D quantum realm light code stuff as well. You know, we've got the Apollo, the God of healing and light coming through to open your heart up to these new energies that are coming in. So that is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. Please check out some of the offerings that I have on... <laughs> All three roosters are saying yes. On my website, I have a Learn Tarot course coming up. I've got release of subconscious beliefs, personal readings. There's a whole heap of stuff there. Please check it out and take care, Sagittarius.